girl get ready for the time of your life honey gentle fragrance i hate when they say stuff like that right in zipped up perfect you're almost there <laughs> pretty expensive for a body wash oh so cool so innovative <laughs> to skincare, bath care right now. What category is that? Skincare, skincare. Everything that we use for baby is fragrance free. There's no reason why you should feel like your baby needs to smell sweet or smell good. They already do. Especially if they're just newborn and you just had them. Oh, that baby smell. Preserve it as much as possible. We have everything that we use for her bath time in this acrylic container. We're on the Honest Face and Body Lotion Lavender lotion okay i know i just said we use everything fragrance free but i thought okay you know she's older now she's starting to get a little bit of toe jams you know <laughs> and like for a little something something for her nearly done but we do go back and forth with that one and the CeraVe cream of course tried and true this is a staple in our household i'm also finishing up this aveeno restorative oat i'm trying to read this backwards guys oat repairing cream is this fragrance free? I don't know if this is fragrance free. Formulated without fragrance, but check the ingredients. Yes, this is, oh my gosh, I'm like off center. And then onto body washes. This is an empty. I was actually saving this for an empties video, but we've gone through the Aquaphor Cleansing Wash and Shampoo Natural, Natural, <laughs> Natural Chamomile Essence, Tear Free, Paraben Free, Fragrance Free. This is great. I love Aquaphor. And then also went through the Avino Baby Daily wash and shampoo natural oat extract this one is lightly scented gentle fragrance i hate when they say stuff like that it's still a fragrance y'all i've mentioned this before i use it for myself but i also use it for her if she happens to have like a little boo-boo somewhere vaseline for the win honey and it's in a stick honestly i mean you can just rub it there and it's good to go you don't have to fuss with sticking your hand in and rubbing it on yes ma'am oh God, have a little helper with me today. Oh, wow. <clears throat> What's next? I know I had something else. Oh, diaper wash. Diaper wash. Diaper wash we use is also from Aquaphor. Healing paste. Fast relief diaper rash paste. 40% zinc oxide skin protectant. We rarely use this because she rarely has diaper rash. But that's just because if your baby does have diaper rash, you're not changing their diaper fast enough. Change your baby's diaper. Don't be letting them hanging around with shishi diaper bags, diapers all day. Pure. All right, this is not a sponsored video, but almost everything that we have gadget wise is from the brand Frida Baby. We love. Frida Baby. So starting off with the first, we got, did we get it in a cluster of toothbrushes or was it one? We got this one first and then the other two came in the pack. This is Baby's first toothbrush. I think it's actually called Baby's first toothbrush. It comes like in a little case like this, isn't that cute? And then it goes on your finger and acts as like this teething thing. And then it has the parts where, you know, it fits nicely in Baby's mouth. Like have a lot so nicely demonstrating for us. Thank you. That's the first one. But now we've moved on to big girl toothbrushes and we bought the set that comes with these two. This actually comes with a guard. This one here comes with a white guard so that baby doesn't gag themselves. And then this is the step up with the bristles. The step up? This is the next one up with the bristles. And it also comes with a sticky suction part at the end. We go in between these. She's still getting ma to the feel of the bristles. So I try to be mindful of not brushing too hard because it's brushing on actual gum still. Not, you know, full teeth grown in. So just got to keep that in mind. But this one just has the rubber teeth. So it's a little bit more comfortable. It's not as harsh as the bristles on the other one. The Sleep Frida Vapor Drops, necessity, maybe not. It does smell nice, you know, when we give her her bath. Oh, uh, body wash that we're using right now. Oh, this is actually the body wash that we're using right now. It's from the brand Pipette. Why we're using it, I don't know. It's pretty expensive for a body wash, but I wanted to try it. I saw the brand on Instagram and they had a, a sale at Target. So I picked it up, figured I'd try it. 
It's baby shampoo and wash, fragrance-free, clean, non-toxic, tear-free. It's a 12-ounce bottle for, I think, like 14 bucks. So, you know, pretty pricey. It does give a nice foam, like a nice lather. I know the Aveeno one that I showed earlier wasn't giving me any bubbles or any foam at all. And I, I like a little bit of that when I bathe her, just so, you know, I kind of know that I'm washing. But this one does give, like, a nice foaming effect, if you will. All right, next, let's talk about body, uh, what do you call this? What is this thing called? Uh, what is this? Washcloths, baby washcloths. Now, again, I guess this is personal preference. First of all, you like wipe this down your baby, it is rolling right into your hand, okay? You really have no control. You have to fold it up into this little square and, you know, for you to have some type of something, you know? And if you have a moving, active baby like we do, she ain't sitting still long enough for you to wash her back, okay? She's wanting to move, she's walking around, she's moving around. So I would try and find something where there's, um, it goes around your fingers or your hand and then you can wash that way. But I would prefer something like that rather than a million and one washcloths, okay? If I can just use one thing, we have a bunch of these washcloths and I do not like using them, but I like for her to have a little bit of a scrub, you know, like on her back, in between her toes, under her feet. And this is not the vibe when it comes to that. Last but certainly, certainly not least, is sunscreen. So right now, the only sunscreen that I have for her is from the brand La Roche-Posay. I don't put sunscreen on her every day, but that's the only sunscreen that we have. I've shown it on my IG multiple times. I use it for myself, the best. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. For teething, since we're here, we <laughs> we've bought a couple soothing gels for her teething but just never kept up with it it's more of a hassle than anything to try and get the medicine on the gums we got these little pods this is from the brand baby Ganics. you use the q-tip swad you know you can put it on your finger and then rub it there and then we picked this one up a couple weeks ago this is the dr talbot soothing gel this little device thing i was like oh so cool so innovative yeah no she's just using it as a regular teether <laughs> maybe it did work the one or two times that we've used it but honestly i mean babies are gonna power through it no matter what they have like the amber necklaces and you know all those different things but she grew teeth so fast Honestly, I just had no time to even think about getting anything for her to try and soothe her. She has almost nine teeth now. She's powered through it. She's gonna power through it. You know, I think that's the end of the line for soothing teeth gels from here on out for us. Anything else I'm missing? Anything at all? Bath towels, yeah. Just use just use the hooded bath towels, you know, from Target. But, you know, eventually your baby will grow out of it. Just let you know. Because I'm over here still using an infant-sized towel for my very much almost one-year-old kid. Just switch to a regular towel, y'all. But I forgot to mention the Baby Frida. It's like a four-in-one nose, ear, and then all over body picker. It has like, it's like a device with like two swivel pieces on the end. I really enjoy that, especially for like, getting her boogers out and every time we've used it thumbs up we've enjoyed it just do it get do it on the topic of you banging your uh, play kits let's go into the next category play and miscellaneous things i put miscellaneous because i had a few other things to talk about so we'll start first with the play kit which havila is so kindly demonstrating again for us here go cool girl uh-huh uh-huh i know i no, no, no. <laughs> hey, uh. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> You're almost there, do it. So right now, the only activities, the toys that we have for her is from the brand Love Every. It's a play kit subscription service that focus on uh, like Montessori skilled activities, which we both have an appreciation for because we were both preschool teachers. Those are pretty much the only toys that we have for her. Other than toys that our families have gotten for her, I like toys that aren't with the lights and making sounds overly stimulating and I feel like our babies don't need that type or that much of stimulation. So having wooden toys like the ones that she was playing with that this one came from the Love Every, one of the Love Every play kits. And then she has one like this, like the silk scarves. 
<laughs> we have a walker that Kane's what, mom? No, 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 grandma's not buy it. Mom, his mom bought one for her. It's the kind that you can put batteries in and it lights up and makes all the noise. I actually didn't put batteries in it. She plays with it by itself without the noise and stuff just fine. And I, I feel like stuff with sounds and noises it's just a little bit too much i think our, our cakey are i don't like the word independent but they are starting to become independent you know they don't need something to entertain them they can find things to entertain themselves with so long as we give them a safe place to do that you know without things that are constantly like every five seconds that's why i prefer love every or just any type of play thing that's it's kind of like open play so you know wooden toys i mean for instance this is the coolest concept but the most simplest thing i mean this is challenging for them to figure out in and of itself right now she's at the stage where she's just any kind of thing she's just banging things around and that's okay you know this came in i think the nine to ten month it was a little bit of an early you know a little bit early for her to figure out the whole concept of putting the egg in the cup she's introduced to it and we're introducing it to her so simple right two pieces easy so many different activities for them to figure out how to do and i think that that's cool i remember i showed it on instagram but i put like two or three activities and then her books here on the floor next to her bed when she gets up in the morning or she gets up from her nap the nap times not so much because she's still kind of like eh, she still cries for me every once in a while but i know like in the mornings when she gets up i'll see her like over here playing with her books or you know playing with stuff and then the rest of them i have in the cubby downstairs which i'm trying to be better at like switching out every now and then that's pretty much for the play we have that turtle thing there the the ball, ball pit, pit i guess ball pit that's what it's called i think that'll be off so the miscellaneous i said was just different stuff like i remember i had um a three-tier cart that i had downstairs that is gone i have the three-tier cart in my uh, filming room right now the three-tier cart was great for the very first place that we were in where we bought her home for the first time it has wheels and the place the room that we were in was like a, a tile floor so it was easy to pull the cart back and forth to the bed and then store it off to the side because i would keep diapers her wipe warmer and just different stuff that i would need on hand rather than having to dig in someplace like a drawer i had it easily accessible on the cart but not anymore because rather than keeping it on the cart i put the cart in my filming room and then i put diapers and wipes in a basket on the floor so eventually baby can learn to grab the diaper and the wipes herself and then learn some type of kuleana or responsibility down the line you want to be a share of attention huh Son of a bitch. So the three tier cart went bye bye. All right, y'all. And for the last and final category, we have sleep. And I'll start first with the sleep sack. This is the Halo sleep sack that has the double zipper. It is warm. It's a little bit too warm, I think. I don't know. Even with the AC on in our house, it still seems to be. I just have hot blooded. My husband is always hot, and now I guess she caught a little bit of that she's just constantly cold sweating we haven't been using the sleep sack for a while it was really good in the beginning when she was a little bit tinier um, but now that she's a little bit you know she's bigger and she's a little bit more mobile we just kind of keep her on the futon so baby does sleep on the futon right next to our bed with a blanket and a pillow i know that's not necessarily recommended for you know not recommended at all for safe sleep but it's been working fine for us she just seems more comfortable that way and it's been working great for us so far so this is the bassinet we started out with it has these legs here where you can turn and you can make it to where it rocks or you can have it this way where it stays still when we initially got it you know took everything out washed it i mean the only thing that you can take out this is her blanket this doesn't come with it see this is how it comes with this material but it's good you know it works i ended up cutting out this paper here because it, it's huge you guys know how i like the best of the best stuff okay and if you know anything about baby products you're aware or you're familiar with the snow that was something that i didn't want to smart on just because so this worked just fine for us from Target, but if you can afford this new girl, go for it. I'm sure it makes all the difference for you, and if it does, great. But if you can't afford it, and if you don't want to take that splurge, 
and that's okay too. I will say though, I was very paranoid when it came to sleep, you know, especially when they first come home from the hospital. And I didn't put anything in here. I mean, I felt so bad. I, I was like, I wouldn't even want to sleep like that. I had this thing bare. Like I didn't even have the blanket that I showed you guys that's in here. I just had the material and, and I just put her in there like that. <laughs> They have the baby lounger, the Daka tot, but that would have been nice. I think for next baby, I would invest in not not the Daka tot, it's the, uh, that other one. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put a picture of it in here. But next baby, definitely gonna get that. Just so that they have some kind of comfort, but I felt so bad just putting her in there like that. You know, no blanket, because that's what they tell you, right? No dolls, no blanket, no pillows, nothing. But then you're like, they just, you know, I was already getting up every five seconds anyway. Just something to consider. Um, next, let's touch on the Hatch Baby Rest Plus. We have the, the second version, I guess the newest version you could say. Love that thing. It helps us fall asleep. It's great. It has different light settings. You can control it over Bluetooth or over Wi-Fi on your phone. There's just different options for sound. They have the dryer. They have rain. Rain is my favorite. But when she was more of an infant, I would have it on uh, the white noise. So that would be great for night times and even for nap times. We kind of have it like all over the place. I had it on the schedule, which you can set it. But you know, she's just been kind of sleeping. I'll have it set for like 9.50, but then maybe she's fighting her sleep and doesn't want to go to sleep till 10 50 and then it'll shut off like an hour early because she went to sleep an hour late you gotta just play with it and adjust it accordingly love that sleep machine sound machine definitely recommend it 100 specifically the second one. Oh, and then for baby monitor so we don't have a dedicated baby monitor for her we use a iphone app on our phones this one connects over bluetooth so you gotta have you know you can't go very far obviously because it's going to disconnect the app that we use i've showed on my ig stories <laughs> i'm telling you guys follow me on ig and you'll get like the majority of almost everything that i mentioned in this video but i'll show it to you guys here it's this baby monitor it's a blue colored app with a teddy bear on the front and then you open it up and it has two options the option for a baby unit and an option for a parent unit so for this one of course you're going to need uh, two iPhones you're going to need your own and then another one that maybe you have extra lying around so that you can connect over Bluetooth for the phone that you have watching baby you choose the baby unit and then for the phone for your own phone you choose the parent unit and then that's how it connects free 99 you know we have the phone that's watching her propped up on one of my uh, phone stands that I bought from Amazon we just keep it on her that way it's been working for us for quite some time. My husband actually found the app, so definitely recommend it. Pacifiers. So we tried a few. I tried a couple different shaped nipple ones and it just, you know, <laughs> I bought some that were, you know, cute and pretty. It was cute and pretty and that's all that it was. She didn't really take to pacifiers very well. The only ones she really did take to were the Wubbanubs. And I found out later on that it's actually only meant for them during the first three months. I'm over here seeing like full on grown kids walking around, toddlers still using the Wubbanubs pacifiers. I don't know. So she's been using Wubbanubs, right? But um, we have two here <laughs> with no Wubbanubs on them because this one ended up just wearing and tearing. She used this one quite a lot. I guess we were pretty aggressive with it. I don't know how, because she started teething early, you know? So it was like biting and chewing and teething. So that's how the Wubbanub off of this one came off. This one was because of her father and my sister's other half, they were playing and uh, they pulled it off or ripped off. So that's why this one doesn't have a woman of passing on it. So I bought her two more, right? I bought her a dog and then I bought her a swan both from Spearmint Love, but she doesn't even use the passy in her mouth now. She just uses them for comfort, like a doll, and then she puts her thumb in her mouth. <laughs> Wubbanubs were a hit for her. I had bought like a variety of different passies for her and none of them worked. And I was like, I'm not buying any more, any, any, any more of this, you know? <laughs> this is as far as we went with passies and all the, Oops, excuse me. And you know what? She's got her, her thumb now, which I know isn't the best thing. That's what it is right now. So it's all good. Oh, and then like teethers, I guess. I love the Moon Jacks teethers. It's like three spikes on the end. You can throw them in the freezer. I feel like she's enjoyed them, those the most, and she still uses them. I think those are the only ones that we bought for her other than like the circle ones with a little shaker and rings on it. I'd say that she prefers the Moon Jacks teethers more. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think so. And I forgot to mention the Boppy. So we have two of them. We have the Boppy Original Feeding and Infant Support. And then we also have the Boppy Lounger. So the infant support is the ring that you can use around yourself to help with feedings. And then as baby grows, it can help with baby's tummy time. And then also help them once they're getting ma to sitting up. Then it can be like a ring around them. Yeah, we still use that. We still have it in the living room, in the living room downstairs. And then love the lounger it can hold baby up until three three months but you don't want them in the lounger once they start rolling over and for the cover I actually bought off of Amazon I wasn't keen on uh, the print that the lounger came in so I bought this um, it's just a solid gray color but it has like this like soft bumpy texture on it and then it has a handle that you can use to carry it around bought it off of Amazon and then it went right in zipped up perfect that way if you take it out for travel you don't have to worry about throwing the whole boppy in the washer you can just take off the cover and then wash the cover you know what i'm saying i mean we washed the lounger one time in the very beginning when we first got it but after that i just bought the cover up and then just put the cover up on after that if we took it to my sister's house or my mom's house or wherever we were going you know you want to keep it clean right so you just take it off <coughs> throw it in the wash yeah loved it all right, y'all, I am going to wrap it up right here <laughs> and call it a day. Oh my gosh, this was like a whole filming all day ordeal, but I've enjoyed it. I've had fun and showing you guys as much as I could, as much as I could. I'm like racking my brain every second trying to think, oh my gosh, did I miss something? Ah, I don't want to think about something later and then miss it and not be able to get it into the video, but I just need to calm down i need to calm down and be okay with what i've shared because honey that was almost everything okay besides the clothes on her back that was pretty much everything <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this first year baby investment like i said before you may not really know what is going to work for you until you buy it yourself so even off of my recommendation or anybody else's recommendation what might have worked for me might not work for you and maybe what might not have worked for me may work for you so you know you just never know until you try that was really aggressive sorry but congratulations if you're a new mama if you're expecting girl get ready for the time of your life honey you know aside from the sleepless nights it goes by incredibly fast in a blink of an eye and if you're a first time mama ride the wave just practice okay <laughs> you're gonna do a great job I wish i could tell myself this when i was first starting out but it is pretty nerve-wracking and honestly just pray and just talk to God. If you have the other half with you at home all the time, then that's that's a bonus. But for me, it, it wasn't like that. After maybe baby's first month or second month, Kanye had to go back to work. So I was pretty much on my own with baby at home by myself. I mean, even in that season, I really wasn't spending time with the Lord because I was just trying to figure out breastfeeding. That was really frustrating because I was trying to, but then my head wasn't in it and I just ended up not completely, I just gave up. It was tough, but if there's anything that I could encourage you on, it's just ready to spend time with the Lord. Soak up every second that you have with your kid. Take the time, take a bath. <laughs> take a second for yourself, inhale and exhale. But congratulations again and welcome to the best part of life. But hey, if you're an existing mama and you already have Kiki, give me some tips, honey. Give me some encouragement, let me know. So with that, I hope you get some type of something with my review on these items. I will leave as much as I can in the description box below. Okay, go down there for all the links for Modern Girl Lab because I do have a discount code with them. I will leave my affiliate link down there as well. Everything and anything that I can find that I've mentioned, I will leave in the description. If you have any questions, questions about the items, questions about motherhood, questions about things that I did or things that I didn't do or things that I wish I had done or even suggestions for other videos, I will gladly, I welcome those things. We welcome that here in the comment section. Please go ahead and do that. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Okay, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload. And I will see you in the next video, though. I love you. <laughs>